Hi, today we're looking at 2-8A, Precision Accuracy. Our learning targets, I can analyze and compare measurements for precision accuracy, and B, choose an appropriate level of accuracy when reporting measurements. Three vocabulary terms today. First one is precision. Precision is a level of detail in a measurement and is determined by the smallest unit or fraction of a unit that you can reasonably measure. Accuracy is the closest of a measured value to the actual or true t value. And then tolerance is the amount by which a measurement is permitted to vary from a specified value, often written, written as plus or minus a value. So our first example we're going to look at is comparing precision of measurements. We want to, ch between each pair, choose a more precise measurement. For A, we have 0 0.8 kilometers and 830.2 meters. So in this case, 832 meters is much more precise. It's a smaller unit. The correct answer there would be 830.2 meters. For B, we have 2.45 inches or 2.5 inches. Again, here we went to the hundredths. 2.45 inches is more precise. Or 100 centimeters and 1 meter. In this case, centimeters are a smaller unit, so 100 centimeters is going to be more precise. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to complete the check it out in example one. You are given, again, three pairs of measurements and choose which is more precise. This example, we're going to be comparing precision and accuracy. So Ida works in a deli. She is testing the scales at the deli to make sure they are accurate. She uses a weight that is exactly one pound and gets the following results. Scale one, reads 1.019 pound, scale 2 reads 1.01 pound, and scale 3 reads 0 0.98 pounds. So which scale is the most precise? To determine this, we want to look at which one has the greatest level of detail. And here, scale 1 goes out to the thousands. So scale 1 is going to be the more precise. It's going to be more precise in this case. Which scale is most accurate? That's going to be the one you take the difference of the absolute values and determine which is going to have the smallest difference of their absolute value. So when you determine the absolute value, scale one, we, everyone starts one pound, exactly one pound weight. Take one pound minus the difference on the scale readings and the absolute value, so it's a positive value. And we can see from here that scale two has the smallest difference there, 0 0.01, smaller than the other. So scale two is the most accurate scale. Now you can complete the check it out example two, which is in your book, or you can just copy it off the video here. Example three is looking at using a specified tolerance. Again, tolerance is how much is allowed difference in the readings here. So bright days blinds makes a window shades. The width of a 30 inch shade should be within 0 0.18 inches of the 30 inch. A batch of shades has a width shown in the table. So look at the table, do all the shades measure within the specified tolerance? Meaning they all within 0 0.18 inches of 30. To determine this, we take 30 inches plus or minus 0 0.18 inches, which means the shades must be, must be between 29.82 and 30.18 inches. Looking over the measurements there, we can see that that's not the case for all of them. Um, so no, shade B measures 29.75, so it's not within the specified tolerance. Yep, it's your turn again. Do check it out example three, looking for lacrosse balls. In our last example, using tolerance expressed as a percent. So we want to write the possible range of measurement for this, for these. So looking at these, the steps involved, steps involved are to find percent of the measurement, write the measurement and tolerance, and then write the measurement as a range. So looking at A, we have to figure out what 12%, what 3% of 12 pounds is. So in doing that, 3% of 12 is 0 0.36. Now we need to write the measurement and tolerance for this. So we can write the measurement as 12 plus or minus 
0 0.36. So for our range, we have to take 12 add and add 0 0.36 to it, and then take 12 and subtract 0 0.36 from it. In doing that, 12 minus 0 0.36 gives us 11.64. 12 plus 0 0.36 is 12.36. So our range is expressed as a range from 11.64 to 12.36.